everybody, I'm Rachel Brady and I vlog and blog about homemaking and well-being. Um, a big huge food truck just arrived and I thought, you know, I'm gonna make a video because I know a lot of you guys like watching these grocery hauls and I like watching them too and there's nothing more interesting than I think than looking at someone's food shopping basket. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching. guys yeah like I just said um, the Tesco man has just left he was possibly the nice human being on the planet um, they're always so nice aren't they delivery drivers I've never met like an, a horrible grocery delivery driver um, it's five to four and we've got dinner in the oven and it was just a few little threadbare things we had in the fridge and freezer so I'm just doing some chicken thighs with some like roasted vegetables and bits and bobs so this is the massive shop that's just come this is an impromptu video so i've not got like a nice meal plan to show you but i thought it would just be interesting anyway so let's just dive straight in so we've got this white loaf i'm just like i either have to eat like homemade sourdough or just like soft white bread i'm actually trying to like be healthy at the minute i only really started with that intention kind of yesterday um because i've been so like focused on like sobriety and all those things and I'm really wary of like, if I want something, I'm going to eat it, but I'm just going to try now on to eat a bit more intentionally. So I'm going to be trying to eat less bread, but let's face it, children eat so much bread. So that's all the toast, all the bread, all the toast. Uh, let's go on to these other bread products. So muffins, tomorrow is Father's Day. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to do like, we're going to do sausage and egg McMuffins. <laughs> for Adam tomorrow. So I've got English muffins. We've got some pitters here because I'm gonna do like halloumi pitters one night this week. These pancakes, we do make our own pancakes all the time, but these are so handy. Stanley is really fussy and we give him those quite a lot in his lunchbox. Chocolate brioche. Stanley is basically 46% chocolate brioche at this moment in time. They're very handy to just have in the bread bin. I've got these part baked baguettes and I actually ordered a chicken which didn't come. It's the first time that's ever happened. And what I was going to do this week was like roast a chicken and roast a garlic and then mix that garlic with like mayo and have like a roast chicken, garlic mayo baguettes for dinner one night. But we'll have to slightly rethink that. I might, um, do you know what? I've got some steaks. I haven't done a meal plan yet. This is really unlikely. I normally do a meal plan then chop, but I just kind of had some ideas in my head while I was shopping. I think I might do like big steak baguettes instead. That's a good one, isn't it? Um, so we've got a load of popcorn here. That's good for Stanley's lunchbox. He won't eat sandwiches, which is quite unusual. He will, saying that, he's sat in there now eating a Nutella sandwich. So he'll eat some sandwiches and he'll eat a jam sandwich. But you know, other things he's not keen on. It's quite hard to get him to eat his lunchbox lunch. Posh biscuits, uh, mini cheddars for his lunchbox. Sausage rolls for his lunchbox. I was just thinking, no pun intended, outside of the box. What can we do other than sandwiches? I give him a lot of like cold pasta, cold sausages. Eggs, our chickens aren't laying very well at the minute. I don't know what it is. Is it the heat, the summer? I'm not sure. So we've topped up on some eggs. How nice are these? I bought some mugs. I am so clumsy. I have ADHD and I think that's why I'm clumsy. I've been breaking a lot of my Emma Bridgewater mugs and I saw these on Tesco. And I just thought, they are unbelievably nice. And they're like £4.50 each. Love, love these. And they're massive, so that would do my coffee in the morning. And these, being nice with like herbal teas in, aren't they? I needed to top up on my oats. I think I'm going to be eating a lot more oats in the morning um, on this kind of trying to be healthy thing with like, you know, almond milk and like almond butter and some like frozen berries and stuff. Mushrooms, wicked for breakfast. All the kids like them. I've, I've upgraded my tea. I had a conversation with sort of with a tea aficionado this week and she was like, if you're not going to have loose leaf, Yorkshire tea is the best. I was like, I'm going to treat myself to Yorkshire tea. I do, I, I do sometimes buy like on, you know, Tesco decaf tea or whatever. I can't really tell the difference, but I just thought life's too short. I'm going to splash out on Yorkshire tea. Juice. We don't buy tons of it because once it's gone, it's gone. The kids love it. They go a bit mad for it massive tub of yogurt because again stanley will eat yogurt with like a spoonful of strawberry jam in or some honey that's just reminded me did i order some honey yes i did thank goodness some honey that was on offer that's like a really good make um and that was on offer sour cream what i was thinking was with that was now what was it oh i knew what it was 
I, I've got some blue cheese and I was going to mix it with the sour cream and I was going to do hot wings. I've got some chicken wings with like a, with like a cool uh, blue cheese sauce for like next weekend. Saw these obsessed with preserved lemons. They are an amazing ingredient. Go and check them out. About three quid for those. Put them in a lamb tagine or a t chicken tagine. Really good. I've got a recipe on my blog. A couple of recipes with preserved lemons. Go and have a look. Mozzarella. I'm going to do a puff pastry pizza because they are super, super... I've just seen the other mozzarellas here. Put them together. Um, puff pastry pizza. Really, really good kind of pizza cheat. The kids love it. I'm going to use, on the base of that pizza, I'm going to use a red pesto instead of like tomato puree, which kind of just tastes like tomato puree. <laughs> uh, pesto. Two jars. Uh, pesto pasta, very easy. Give it to the kids. I sometimes pimp it up with like a bit of cream or some peas or fruit corn. I give that quite often to Stanley for lunch. Nutella because the kids just love it and it's really good on crepes, apples because apples. Loads of pasta. I've been eating brown rice pasta quite a lot and I really like it. It is really, really expensive and the amount of pasta we go through, I just thought, just go back to like the Tesco and brand but I'm going to try and just stick to brown rice pasta for myself. Um, tomatoes, just for everything. Uh, avocados, I eat a lot of avocado. Um, I normally get a couple of those. I've only got one. Melon is really lovely in the morning with some strawberries, just like a bowl of fruit there with the kids' uh, breakfast. Um, I should have finished that side, really. Let's do it from over here. HP sauce, uh, I got those for the sausage and egg McMuffins that I'm going to be doing. Potatoes, absolutely brilliant for cutting into chip shapes and roasting. Uh, baby potatoes, I use these a lot. Uh, I made a fish pie recently, I made, it was on, I've included it on a video, uh, where I did crushed baby potatoes as a topping. So much easier than like peeling and mashing. Uh, really, really good tip there. Garlic, we use huge amounts of garlic. Bananas, red onions, cavolo nero. I'm obsessed with like greens with chili and garlic um, and a piece of protein. You know, like that's to me, like that is so enjoyable and it's not like I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out and it's really healthy. Corn on the cob, kids love it. Steaks. Now I think, I can't remember if I've told you or not because I'd started this video and then I had to restart it. So I'm trying to think what I've told you or not and what I'm repeating. My brain has just done a little flip. Um, yeah, so I've got some steaks and now I've actually treated Arthur to a fillet steak because he is really averse to fat, whereas the rest of us are like proper fat eaters. Um, so I've got the steaks and I've got those baguettes, those part baked baguettes, and I'm going to do like steak baguettes because I was going to do like roast chicken baguettes, but the roast chicken didn't come. Um, blue cheese that's for the hot sauce and wings i'm gonna do sausages we've started having sausages a lot in the morning because the kids have got a longer day at school and i'm really like i'm just trying to protein them up this is the best bacon now, obviously the best the best ideal thing is to buy bacon from the butcher but this streaky bacon from tesco dry cure it's really really good outdoor bread it's so good we go through quite a lot of that actually in the morning stanley loves bacon this hummus oh my god it's so good try it don't buy store bought store brand hummus i mean i buy a lot of just tesco stuff but that is crazy good here's that uh, frozen pastry oh this actually hasn't come frozen but i'm gonna stick one in the freezer and stick one in the fridge that i'm gonna do I do like this instant pot, um, if I show you, I'll do a video on it. Um, I cut this, the pork shoulder into cubes and I fry it off with like chorizo and peppers. It's like a Spanish pork stew. And then you put the, you can put like little potatoes in it at the end and serve it with like sour cream on top. It's really nice. Hash brown, brilliant for the freezer. These, right, my kids and Adam will not eat sweet potato, like homemade sweet potato wedges, but they will eat like these there's something about them they're like they taste more like things you get in a restaurant whereas the wedges just taste really homemade i like the wedges that i make but they much prefer those these are really handy to just chuck on the table and give to stanley for his breakfast and to put in his lunch box as well i've got some raw king prawns because i'm going to make it like a king prawn pasta i've got these for the sausage and egg mcmuffin <laughs> cheese slice on top i love jarlsberg jarlsberg whatever it's called 
I have that with salami sometimes for breakfast, for like a kind of continental breakfast. Butter, because I just don't believe in margarine, okay? <laughs> Uh, these, I wish they did like free range chicken wings. They don't do free range chicken wings anywhere. Maybe they do at Waitrose, I can't think actually if they do, but um, you know, ideally if, it's, if there's a free range option, I'll take it. There wasn't, but uh, I am a big chicken wing fanatic and Adam is so good at cooking them. And so I was gonna do a chicken wing thing, like I say, hot wings with the blue cheese sauce. We eat a lot of smoked salmon for breakfast. I'll have it with like avocado and some kind of scrambled egg. I've got these prawns for Stanley's lunchbox and I've got a side of salmon, a half side of salmon to do with some kind of nice salsa or something midweek. I haven't really thought that through. I got spaghetti hoops. I normally just buy um, Tesco's own. They must've been on offer. A couple of tins of tomatoes. These were on offer pizza. I just think you should always have frozen pizza in, in the freezer because kids come around and stuff. Milk. I actually strongly suspect that I am lactose or dairy intolerant. In fact, more than suspect because I did one of those hair strand tests on the internet a couple of years ago and like in the high sensitivity group, it was just like cheese, milk, or dairy basically. Um, so I'm like, I know I should be not drinking dairy. I'm not um, allergic. I'm just like sensitive to it. So I'm try this morning I had black coffee and it was fine. So I'm gonna try and go more towards that. But yeah, the kids drink a lot of milk. Not so much Arthur, actually. He will have a hot chocolate, but um, Stanley and B drink a lot of milk. I've got some hot dog buns left over from Arthur's party. And these are really good quality, I think anyway. Uh, the best quality out there, Frankfurters. So really good quick tea there for the kids. I really like this ham. It's like outdoor weird, I think, I'm not sure. So I don't know if it is actually. It's the finest one though. So it's like really thinly sliced and there's a lot of it, which is good. Um, decent olive oil, decent maple syrup, more plum tomatoes. I got this red onion, sage and onion stuffing, stuffing mix because I was gonna do this kind of roast chicken and stuffing and garlic mayo like baguettes. So it's like a kind of quick but luxurious dinner but i think i'm going to change that up for the steak baguette so that's just going to go in the cupboard love a bit of stuffing <laughs> that sounded weird um and life's too short to make your own apart from at christmas halloumi love halloumi gonna try and get the kids more doing more like veggie teas especially arthur who's not mad on meat really uh the rest of them are carnivores but arthur's not bothered he doesn't like fat stuff. so i thought halloumi pitters so i've got some pitters somewhere i'm not sure if i've showed them to you berries all the berries um oh my goodness i think that's it uh 13 and minutes that is not bad that is not bad so yeah just a quick whiz through of a really huge shop from tesco uh, i didn't do a shop last week so this is like a two-week shop um so yeah that's it um comment below say hi um don't forget to hit subscribe if you enjoy homemaking content and well-being for mums content uh, so there's lots of stuff coming up i've got lots of ideas i've got a new notebook and i'm writing down all my ideas in there um yeah so some good stuff coming up hopefully anyway uh so take care guys